Hi, um, I'm Jordan Bolger, and this is my new student vlog. I was a part of the October 11th new student dialogue on peer pressure this past week. Okay, the first question was, do you think your group achieved true dialogue? Um, I don't really think we did because we didn't exactly talk about anything. We had, we were split into groups, and first we played a little game, um, connections, and you just said something about yourself and said an interesting fact, and if someone had that fact or agreed with you, they said, some, they got up and stood up and linked arms with you. Um, we did that, and then we split into groups and did skits on five types of peer pressure. Uh, that's pretty much all we did. I don't really think that can count as uh, true dialogue because we didn't talk about anything. Okay? Were there active voices in our dialogue? Um, there were a few people who liked to talk in the dialogue. They really weren't saying much. Um, they just kind of like to talk about them. <laughs> like to talk about themselves. Sorry, my dog is going insane. Um, they like to tell their stories about how, in a peer pressure dialogue, that they went out and um, didn't go with peer pressure, but they went out and go ahead and were not going to drink, and then just decided with everyone chanting their name, they were going to drink. So that's one of the active voices. The other people just kind of. There's one girl who liked to talk about how she didn't. She went to football games with her group and um, she didn't conform into drinking. I mean, that's kind of the main thing of peer pressure that people would consider college is about. So there are about two people who talked, and that was pretty much it. No one else had any opinions on peer pressure or any interesting or relevant opinions on peer pressure. Were there more reserved voices in your dialogue? Yes, most of the class was reserved voice. I was a reserved voice. Um, I think it's kind of obvious with a group of people that you really don't know for only two hours, you're going to sit and talk about something. I think most people are going to have a reserved voice. I have a very adamant opinion about peer pressure, and I didn't say anything because I, well, I don't, I feel like I don't, I conform to peer pressure, but I feel like I don't do it a lot, um, more so with the drinking. I really, I've grown up around, there's been alcohol and obviously the main idea of peer pressure in college, but um, I don't really ever want to drink. I hate alcohol. I really do not believe that, like people who go to college and that's all they're going to care about. I don't like my friends started drinking the last, like, two weeks of high school and haven't really talked to them much. I know everyone always says you shouldn't just judge people on the fact that they drink alcohol, but it's the whole idea around the fact that they're drinking just to fit in with people or think that they need to have fun. It's just dumb. So I assume the people who kind of have that opinion would be more reserved like I was in the dialogue. Um... Let's see, the next question. What role did you play in the dialogue? Okay, um, I didn't really play a role. We really, as I said, we didn't talk about a lot, so we got in the groups and we kind of talked and just told about where we were from, but I didn't, I mean, that was the extent to what I did. I didn't do anything in it because it was kind of pointless. We hadn't, no, there was no discussion about anything. We were just kind of this. Oh, look, there's five types of peer pressure. Oh, who didn't know that? Um, but, so yeah, I guess it could be my fault. I didn't contribute or say anything, so, of course, I wasn't going <coughs> to... I can't really blame them for not talking about anything when I wasn't going to help bring up a conversation when I have a very one-sided opinion about peer pressure. But Okay, um, why do you think dialogue is a component of Library 100? Library 100 is um, interesting. Uh, I think dialogue, and it's a good concept to think that you have these social issues that you want people to talk about, but making college kids go to this two hour mandatory thing with people they don't know who've just signed up for probably something random, they aren't really gonna. I don't see the point. People aren't gonna talk, they won't, or. I don't know, maybe if you have more talkative people, but if you have a lot of introverts and people who just don't care about it, it's not, nothing's going to happen. So I kind of, it's a good concept. It makes sense that um, 
people who come up with Clemson Connect are going to want to do make that be a thing to do, but it's just it just doesn't work out in real life. I enjoyed the book. That was an amazing book. Um, the book was amazing. But everything else is kind of the alcohol edu was good, but it's just comes and connects. It's just not my favorite. And then, do you see dialogue as a useful tool in your university experience? Yeah, Di- I mean, dialogue is being able to have conversations, being able to. As it said, you get emotions to help deepen your understanding of personal, group, and intergroup relationship by issues. I think it's a good concept again, but I guess as a freshman right now, I feel like nothing is going to happen with anyone because all they care about is drinking and meeting girls. But I think it, dialogue is obviously going to be useful, and when you get older, um, when you actually have issues to talk about, and you want to... And hearing other people's ideas is always good. You can change your opinion, but I don't know. This isn't really helpful. Please share any additional thoughts or observations as you see fit. Um, I don't really have anything. But I mean, I guess it's just kind of pointless to be saying, "Oh, I don't like Clemson Connect." Everyone's going to say that because they're lazy. But I just new student dialogues don't do anything for me. It wasn't helping anything. I don't know. Maybe maybe there were some where people actually are, have a, an opinion enough to talk about it, but moderators also have to. You can't just make us do dumb activities. No one's going to talk about it. But, um, so I think that's it. Thank you.